Okay. I don't mind being rich. Jolly gosh. Where are we today? Oh no, we're in the Woodville Old Gorge Cemetery on the eve of the Beltane 2014 for our final recording for the first decade of Beltane seasonal recordings. This cements it. This cements it. This cements our place in rock and roll history. Ten years, every solstice and equinox. And look, they've even put a sheep in here today, so it's just like Nelson. But anyway, there's Baffy there, but here's a and well, here's the grave. We've been wanting to do something by this grave ever since I saw this when we first came here. And today we did, so let's have a look at the setup then, eh? Brief overview. Fair amount of gear there, eh, mate? Well, guitars. I went back to the good old Fender Metal Strat. I mean, this has recorded so many Beltane seasonal recordings. It's a good workhorse, so there's really no better choice today. And we had enough room in the car to bring it, so I didn't need to do the bullpup thing with the song Lin or anything like that. And of course, most of Baffy's seasonal recordings have been done with the Ibanez sound gear, of course, too. Still haven't fixed the socket yet. And we got hiding under here. Oh yes, the Vox bass amp plug, the secret weapon. On these last recordings since we've had that, since our birthdays. It's been shit hot. Um, and I this good my signal chain too. Otherwise I'll overlook it. Of course the Ibanez Sonic Distortion, which I used to use back in the day with Beltane, sort of the 1999 CD era um, quite a lot and I used it on the spring equinox so naturally I had to use it today to match up the sound because it's all on the same release and of course the Vox AC30 I've been into that before so I don't need to say too much about that now but she's all good right so that's our usual thing and of course the E which I've now shut off because we ran down to 30 minutes of batteries but we've got some new bits and pieces here most obviously these speakers a lot bigger than what we would normally use well we decided to bring these to this seasonal recording just because it's kind of the last recording and we wanted to make a bit of noise you know make it a bit special and all um, this one over here that Baffy was using, she has a blowing horn which we blew out at our Tauranga gig that Nocturnal Fiend organised for us. We took these speakers to play our drum tracks through and we blew this horn down here. So I just cobbled this on using good old banana plugs into the binding post there as you do. This, this has got a bit of a history to it too, this, this horn, but I'm not going to go into that right now or this video will be unnecessarily long. So yeah, we thought we'd bring those speakers for a bit of fun, but the main reason was because we've got a new amp. This little amp here, LV Pin. If it's not right, we won't put it right because we're Ching Chong China, not LV Martin. Um, yeah, well, what about it? It's 20 watts per channel, it's a tripath amp, or Class T, and I'm pretty sure it does use the tripath chipset. It's a digital amp, as it says. So, you know, 20 watts per channel, and that size, you know. I'm not utterly convinced it is 20 watts per channel, but I am convinced it's fairly loud, because we, especially running off this 12 volt feed through this little fucking DC jack. Fuck's sake. Eh? There's two sheep. There are two sheep. Right, we'll just film the sheep. See, they used to have sheep in the Nelson Cemetery all the time because they were too slack to cut the grass, so they just thought, we'll let sheep in there. As I said before, Set Tatum brought the sheep into the cemetery for our pleasure, which sounded real dodgy. 
Yeah, I didn't mean it like we're going to fuck them, eh? I mean we're going to sacrifice them to Satan. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to more prosaic stuff. Batteries. Now this battery here, well, first of all, I thought that being a digital amp, this might be a little bit greedy. So this amp, I just, oh, this battery, I just scored the other day. Um, well, came with an Envirema I bought for twenty-four bucks off Trade Me. And um, one of the batteries was completely shot, and this one probably nearly is. Well, it's got a bit of life in it, but I thought I needed something a bit bigger than what we normally use to run this. But as it turned out, it wasn't enough, and while we were playing Dark Heart, the third take, it died. So the amp started cutting out, because these amps, as we've found, are not very tolerant of low voltage. They just shut down, as most digital things do. A severe disadvantage of digital, really, when you're relying on batteries. This thing may have sacked itself by doing that. So we'll see what we have on the next recording when we make a video like this. But not to worry, I bought in the big gun. The big gun, the fucking good old X-Side fucking calcium battery. What is it? 70 minutes reserve capacity, 370 cold cranking amps, 40 amp hours. This always sits in the boot of our car in case we have... Um, battery problems, eh? So we won't get caught out, and it's been handy today. So it was no real stress, really. Lucky I had this lead here, which is specially built to charge Storm's little inverter that Bro Hammer sent me again. I'm gonna go on about the inverter again, but again, of course, we didn't use it today. But it's nice to have it here in case we need it. And I bought my Coltronics KV1 just in case the Ibanez sonic distortion fucked out because I've been having trouble with scratchy pots in it and this is the closest thing to the <laughs> slidey slidey seats and this is the closest thing to that sonic distortion and sound I think that I've got so it was a good substitute in case I had problems but I didn't have problems so yeah that's about it in fact it's spitting to rain so we might have to pack up this stuff um there we go and there's our lovely little angel and coopers that's been sitting around for a while so at least it didn't go like the nasty nana at the pagan gathering last year so there's a setup of beltane 2014 and the final recording the absolute final recording of the first decade of Beltane seasonal recordings so there, so there yeah all yeah. oh, you haters can go and fuck yourselves and have a cry or something <laughs> <laughs> troll this YouTube channel get yourself banned I dare you <laughs> Yeah, there's a bit of rain. Well, yeah. You know what? I should say something now about the rain. Um, the weather wasn't looking the greatest when we first got here, and one option, of course, was we could have just canned out on this and done it in a old rugby hall in Woodville. But um, I thought we'd do it here. But, you know, it was really awesome that even from the Viking Hall jacked that up for us because it took out the weather stress pretty much totally yeah eh? because we got here this afternoon and it was just ass up here and it was pissing down we could have just gone there and still done it in Woodville so it's all good but I'm glad we managed to pull it off here because this is a great cemetery yep closest thing to the fucking walk up walk sim and Nelson really but you know it's got its own magic too oh there's three sheep I think there's a hole in the fence eh <laughs> Um, well, Sir Tatum is tripling the pleasure! Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> they're about to cut the grass. Yep. <laughs> Who knows? Yep. It's a greener way to cut grass. <laughs> it's the Enviro Mower. Runs off grass. <laughs> Runs off grass. <laughs> just low. They'll eat the grass right down low. There's no high, it's just low. It's a greener way to cut grass. Fertilizers as well. <laughs> Oh, they're running away. And if you love it, you can even fuck it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Comes with a trimmer and eat your mite. <laughs> Right, probably lose a few subscribers over that. Um, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Right, turn this off, pack up some gear. Good angel.